Good morning and welcome to People Online. This time we intend to do a series on HR analytics. The scope, however, is restricted to the very basics with an emphasis on applications, particularly those kind of applications that require less resources to run and perhaps can be best described as low hanging fruits. Session 3 Descriptive Analytics Using a HR Scorecard. Contents. What is descriptive analytics? We'll see this one more time. What is balance scorecard? What is a HR scorecard? And a BSC based HR scorecard. So let's see what is descriptive analytics one more time. Descriptive analytics advocates the analysis of HR data to acquire greater insight about the present. Example could be analysis of attrition data to identify the units and locations that are experiencing high attrition. One of the popular application areas in descriptive analytics is the creation of a HR scorecard and uh, use it for, for showcasing the performance of the human resource function. What is balance scorecard. Now the model was devised by Kaplan and Norton of the Harvard University and the model advocates an evaluation of organizational performance from four different perspectives and this multidimensional approach to assessment tends to make it more balanced uh, as opposed to probably viewing it from only one perspective and historically uh, one tended most evaluations tended to be centered around financial parameters so the balance scorecard tried to turn things around and bring in this balance in assessment the four perspectives are financial customer internal business and learning and growth now this same approach can be used to assess the performance of the HR function by using a BSC based HR scorecard. Financial perspective. The financial perspective can be best summed up by this one sentence. How do we look to our shareholders? This perspective considers the financial measures related to the organization's performance. Examples could be revenue, profit, return on capital, cash flow, etc. In the context of the HR scorecard, matrix that would correspond to the financial perspective of the BSC could be total labor cost as a percentage of revenue, revenue per employee, profit per employee. Customer perspective. The customer perspective can be best summed up by the following line. How do customers see us? This perspective measures the ability of the organization to provide quality goods and services, effective delivery and generate overall customer satisfaction. Examples could be market share, customer satisfaction and customer loyalty. In the context of the HR scorecard, the matrix that would correspond to customer perspective of the BSC could be voluntary turnover, employee satisfaction slash engagement scores, internal customer satisfaction score. Internal business perspective. The internal business perspective can be best summed up by the following sentence. What must we excel at? This perspective measures the performance of the organization in respect of certain key internal business processes that enable the organization to meet its objectives. Example could be quality, it could be efficiency, it could be productivity, etc. In the context of the HR scorecard, matrix that would correspond to the internal business perspective of the BSC could be recruitment lead time, training effectiveness score and cost of recruitment. 
learning and growth perspective the learning and growth perspective can be best summed up by the following line can we continue to improve and create value this perspective measures the ability of the organization to adapt to change examples could be number of new products launched number of employee suggestions share of revenue from new products and services in the context of the hr scorecard matrix that would correspond to learning and growth perspective could be readiness rate extent of competency enhancement percentage increase in assessment rating over two consecutive periods investment in leadership development initiatives could be expressed in monetary terms what is a hr scorecard the hr scorecard captures the effectiveness of the hr function in an organization in a quantified form it contains a list of relevant metrics along with measures the measures are the benchmarks or they serve as some kind of targets and define performance standards the actual performance or achievement with respect to each metric during the period under consideration is rated using the laid down performance standard so the performance standard actually serves as a scoring logic finally the weighted average of the ratings for all metrics gives the score the overall score so let's see how a bac based hr scorecard looks like so on the left most column you could see the four perspectives and for every perspective there's a goal specified here now this is a simplified presentation uh, for a given perspective there could be more than one goal but for simplicity's sake we're just considering one goal per perspective So next to goal is the measure this is the target and achievement is what has actually been achieved percentage achievement is achievement divided by measure into 100 and the standard gives the scoring logic for arriving at a rating for example in the first goal uh, which is basically a financial goal 75% achievement means uh, it comes in the bracket 89 to 60% in the uh, laid down standard So 89 to 60 percent means a rating of two. Okay, and next to the rating, we see the weightage, which is a prefixed uh, figure, depending on the criticality of the goal. And uh, finally, in the last column on the right, we get ratings multiplied by weightage, which is called weighted ratings. And the sum total of the weighted ratings divided by the total weightage actually gives a score so here the sum total of the weighted ratings come comes to 80 plus 90 plus 40 plus 50 so we get a total of 260 and the total weightage is 100 so 260 divided by 100 is 2.6 let's summarize so in this session we looked at a definition of descriptive analytics we saw what is a balanced scorecard what is a hr scorecard and finally how a bsc based hr scorecard looks like thank you for watching if you could relate to the video if you found it to be useful do like and share do subscribe to our channel press the bell button to Stay tuned in for our next video. Until then, goodbye.